What's up, YouTube? So recently, I got a cupping session done. You know where people put cups on you and then it just pulls the muscle upwards to relieve your muscles and it just makes you feel good. I know you've seen it before. You've seen it on Michael Phelps. And uh, I have a whole bunch of those right here. Ah, you see? Don't get me wrong, it looks weird, but my back feels amazing. Here's my experience on how I got my cupping session done. So here we go. Hey everybody, so I'm here at Acupunctrix with Tamara and we are going to be doing a cupping session. I've never had any cupping of some sort in my body, so I'm super excited and super nervous at the same time to do this. Any advice? Relax, it's gonna be fine, you're gonna love it. All right, do you so trust me? I do trust you. Okay, all right, we all got right. this. So what does cupping do? So, so cupping is a really ancient method of healing all around the world. It's used in the Middle East, it's used in Africa, it's used in Asia. It's usually used with fire. But now, these days, we actually use suction because it's a little bit safer and I can control how strong it is. Mm -hmm. um, and what, so what it's gonna do is kind of pull up on the mus muscle and the tissues mm -hmm. and it's gonna kind of pull out all the yucky stuff and it's gonna start to bring in circu blood circulation. You know like the areas that you your body kind of starts to forget about because it's there all the time? Yeah. So the cupping is like a safe way to get your body to like remember that it needs to work on that area uh -huh. and it brings all that blood flow and healing to that area. Gosh, I'm gonna be so relaxed after this. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Alright, so I'm gonna apply some oil. Whoa. So this is like a massage except backwards? <laughs> it's like, yes, exactly. It's a backwards <laughs> massage. So we're gonna yeah. we're gonna pull up instead of pressing in. Nice. And cupping does leave some marks um, because it's bringing all that blood flow up. We like to say it does look a little bit like you lost a fight with an octopus. Ooh, or I can be a pepperoni pizza, right? <laughs> you could totally be a pepperoni pizza. Okay, how's that feel? Whoa, is it on me? Yeah. Whoa, that's so that feels cool. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I do one more? Yeah. One more pump. How's that? That's good. Good. Okay, good. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very, very popular with athletes. Ooh. Tell me if anything's too strong and we'll just pull it back a little bit. Oh, this is, uh, this is great. Wow. Michael Phelps, if you want to do a company session with me, uh, hit me up. I think it feels awesome. This feels amazing. Whoa! I feel like a reptile. I have stuff in my bag. Now, if any of them get too strong, go ahead and let me know. No, they, they all feel great right now. Okay. <laughs> it's like someone just like pulling my skin up. Let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. So you can see the, um, the skin is a little bit starting to turn red underneath. Mm -hmm. A little bit purple up on the upper ones. And that's just pulling the blood up to the surface and yeah. helping to bring all kind of new fresh blood and circulation to the area. Whoa, this one feels good. This, oh, whoa. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if you live in, in Los Angeles or big cities or anywhere where you've got stress, it is really, really does help a lot. It helps with pain. It also helps, it's been traditionally used when people have fevers or colds, uh -huh. especially in Southeast Asian cultures um, like Vietnam. Um, it's very often used to help uh, bring the fever up to the surface of the skin and release fevers. It cools the blood when it comes up higher, oh. so that's one way to help re uh, reduce fever. Uh. I actually did a workshop for a forensic science group. A lot of times uh, kids will get sick or something happens and they end up in the emergency room, and especially from South Asian families, they may have done something like this, or mm -hmm. something called gua sha, which is when you kind of scrape the skin. It gets mistaken for child abuse, the marks. Oh. So I went to speak to the scientists and the police um, department uh, and nurses about um, cupping and gua sha and traditional Chinese medicine and traditional Asian medicine and how um, how the, the therapeutic value works and what it actually looks like so that you, they could tell the difference between um, therapy and child abuse. Oh wow. They look pretty good. Sometimes I get people in here and it's so dark that it's like black. What? <laughs> you know, like the, with the, the skin turns completely black. Why? It happens in with people with injury, people that are holding a lot of stress, um, older folks. Oh no. Yeah. Because like so much blood coming up. Yeah, we call it stagnation, where stuff gets trapped. So you literally have just no circulation, and it's getting sort of trapped in that area. Mm. And so we're pulling it back up, and so that's why you'll get so much discoloration there. Oh, wow. We notice that people hold a lot of tension sometimes in this area, and they don't even realize it. Yeah all along the outside of the scapula. Oh. 
<laughs> it feels so cool when you take it off. And the, none of this, if I press here, this doesn't hurt, right? No. Okay, so you don't have any spinal um, disc herniations, anything like that. Just checking to make sure it's safe to go over your spine. This edge of this one seems a little darker, so I'm going to put one in the middle of that just to see if we can pull something up there. So, oh, okay. As I'm looking in the areas where it's really discoloring, and that's going to show me where to put more cups. So I know you wanted to try a couple of different techniques. Uh -huh. And one technique is called sliding cupping. I'm going to grab a little more oil. So sliding cupping is where we're going to take the cup and, and literally just slide it on the skin. Uh -huh. So tell me if it's too strong. It can be stronger. Okay. Okay. So I'm basically just going to grab it. And we're gonna pull it up. Whoa! How's it feeling? That feels really good. Yeah. Wow. So, like you said, it's kind of like a, a massage in reverse. Yes, exactly. Kind of feel like duct tape. <laughs> it's like, like duct tape? Yeah. Like <laughs> duct tape pulling <laughs> my skin up. That sounds awful. No, no, no. In a good way. So it's like a, a smooth duct tape. I don't know. I'm bad with analogies, but <laughs> that's, just, that's just it feels good. <laughs> it's easier to get like a big area and just kind of stimulate exactly just getting things circulating. We can always stop it or we can reduce the suction too. Whoa, there's one right there. That's so cool. Ooh. Ooh. Which spot feels the best? I think it's really different for everybody. Uh -huh. Everybody likes different, you know, depending yeah. on what their pain level is or what's going on with their body. Right there. That's great. That means that it's working. It's pulling stuff up. And... Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that's awesome. We want that. All right. I was like, no, I'm dying. <laughs> You're not dying. You're not dying. You're opposite of dying. You're getting better. Yes. It's harder to, to do the neck when you're face down. It works a little better when you're up. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I, what I can do is uh -huh. show you one other technique that we do. Oh, okay. The shot or these little red marks that help to degranulate the tissue. Mm. Basically, a lot of uh, cultures use either a coin mm -hmm. or a soup spoon, mm -hmm. like a Chinese soup spoon. And I'm using jade. Today. Oh, jade. Yeah. So we just scrape down the area to help uh, release the muscle. And this is one of those things when you see what it looks like afterwards, it can look a little scary, but it usually feels really great when it's happening. And this is another ancient, ancient technique, but it's still um, commonly used uh, in a lot of South Asian families. See, this is what happens when you do all these bathtub challenges uh -huh. and you're jumping into things yeah. and running around. My body breaks every time I do these <laughs> videos. So, <laughs> thank you for fixing me up. Yeah. If anybody says they saw that they saw this on uh, Guava Juice, I'll give you $20 off your, off your first session. Ooh. Link in the description below. <laughs> if you want to go here, lay in the same table I'm laying in, Ooh, it's worth it. Whoa! Whoa! How's it feel? Weird or no, cool? It feels good. It feels good, okay. Everything feels good. <laughs> so I'm just really lightly kind of just trying to integrate everything. Feeling okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks gnarly. Oh man, I can't wait to see what I look like. Looks gnarly, but it feels good. And now you're just like Michael Phelps. Yes, exactly like Michael. Yeah, you could win a medal. Walk yes. out of here and win a medal. You're gonna mess up your hair. Yeah, you do it. <laughs> no, I, I don't care. Having your head rubbed, I think, is like awesome. I know. It feels like being a baby. It's my favorite. Alrighty. I think you're good. First cupping session, you survived it. I did. That was so good. Wow. <laughs> what do you look? Do you see? Oh, do I see it? I can't see it. Pretty impressive. Really? Yeah. Wow. Does it look cool? Woo! All right, well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. That was extremely amazing. Special thanks to Tamara for giving me my first session. It was great. Absolutely, anytime. So if you want to experience an acupuncture or a cupping session on the same table that I did, Mine. So you can book at www.acupuncturix, that's A-C-U-P-U-N-K-T-R-I-X dot com and just mention guava juice and you'll get $20 off your first session. Everything will be in the link in the description below. Check it out. This was cool. Wow. Amazing. Stay juicy. <laughs>